All right, let's make a try one, okay. So what this video is about is uh, making a pyramid. Um, should be a quick video, it's pretty simple. Uh, first thing is you have, or do you have a cube? And I'm just gonna draw this in parallel line drawing really quickly just so I can um, explain. the concept and so you have this cube well rectangle uh, transparent and what you're going to do is you're going to cross the corners at the bottom that finds your center and then you draw a line I'm sorry <laughs> cross your forget that uh, cross your corners at the top that finds your center. And from there, you're gonna connect uh, that point to the four corners. And you can see your pyramid inside of the cube. So basically it's the bottom of a cube and everything connects to the center of the top. So if you were to do that in perspective, real simple. Horizon line. Um, what am I saying here? I'm, I'm actually going to make the horizon line high, just so I can. No, uh, I'm going to keep it there. I'll do a pyramid actually as as, as it's uh, coming down. Um, You'll see as I start. So left vanishing point, right vanishing point, top vanishing point there. If you're wondering what pencil I'm using, I'm using an F. An F is kind of between an H and a B. Um, the reason I'm using that is because it shows up for the video. Um, it's a little on the softer side, but your pencils, your favorite caster pencils are kind of hard anyway, so hard pencils. Okay, so here's our cube. Okay. Treat this guy, just erase these things so they don't confuse you. All right, now. What you're going to do is you're going to cross your corners. I was thinking something. So, uh, so yeah, you're going to cross your corners. I'm sorry, you're not going to cross your corners. You're going to take that far right corner and connect it to the left vanishing point. Take that far left corner, connect to the right vanishing point. That finds your center. That doesn't find your center. That finds that back corner. And you're going to connect that back corner to this back corner. And it should connect to the third vanishing point. Great. Okay, so now we have a transparent cube. Now I cross my corners. And it's confusing because you have this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this line out just so it doesn't confuse you. And I'm cleaning out the section I'm going to work in. And what I want to do here is I want to find the center point of this plane. And then I'm going to connect these four corners to it. Now I'm drawing a pyramid as we typically see it. The base on the bottom and the point at the top but you can draw a pyramid it doesn't have to be a perfect cube like base uh, you can draw a pyramid kind of thing coming on the side in this direction coming off this plane in that direction you can have one coming um, below so uh, so once I find my center I'm going to connect the four points I'm just gonna put dots here so you understand what I'm doing and in the back corner back corner so you don't have to draw unless you want it transparent And I'm actually going to take out that entire line that was there before because that's the old corner. It's a little bit different now. And there is our, and actually, actually I will put the transparent line in just so you can kind of see it. So that would be the transparent cube. So now I erase the old. And I have myself a pyramid.
Nice thing about this pyramid, check this out. I can make a pyramid going in this direction too. Um, I, I'm just gonna talk about inventing a little bit. I'm gonna just make a separate video for that as well, but I'm just gonna cross my corner here, cross my corner here. That finds my center. That center line, I'm gonna make a line in this direction, but the top, um, but it has to connect to that vanishing point. However, it's gonna go in this direction. I'm gonna end this wherever I want to. I'm gonna just put a point here and I'm gonna connect to the four corners again. So I kind of like mirrored the um, pyramid as it's coming towards us, right? But I don't know if I like this shape. It's just, it's so defined. It's, it's, um, uh, there's four points. It's hard to integrate that with something else in your drawing. So I'll show you something else. I'm just gonna take this out because I don't really love it, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to try something out because the whole project is about experimentation. So I'm going to put a dot right here. I'm gonna slice off the top part of this pyramid and to slice it in this direction, I this line goes to the left vanishing point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line here, put a line here, and I basically slice this off. But what if I just wanted to slice off a little section? Hmm. I could take off the whole top and then you just have this kind of um, thing going back in space. But what if I just sliced off the middle? I don't know if I love this because it already goes in perspective and it just looks like it's uh, the vanishing point is closer. So that doesn't really pull off the idea. This might work though. The idea that it's a pyramid. Um, so I'm going to erase the central part of it. And then I'm going to take this corner here. I'm going to connect it to the right vanishing point, but it's, I only need to put that line in there. Do the same thing here. And connect it here. That's kind of interesting. I do like that. So you have this um, negative space in the middle. This was once a pyramid. It's sliced down and you have kind of two forms out of one. So um, could work. Who knows? Uh, another thing you could just make this, turn this into a rectangle underneath, but not interested in that. Um, that's basically it. That's a pyramid. Uh, the next video I'm going to make is about inventing form.